Hello and welcome back to the channel. Well, family, I'm going to be jumping right into this. I'm going to be jumping right into this. As I've said before, 2020 went out with a bang, but 2021 is still sizzling. It started off sizzling. Now, if that's any indication of what is to come or what we could expect for the rest of this year, hold on and put your seatbelts on. Okay, my thinking is this. I wanted to talk about those of you who have burned down bridges. As a matter of fact, some of you didn't just burn it down, you blew that sucker up. And so with that, a lot of people are probably looking back saying to themselves, why did I do that? What was it all for? Was it worth it? And most of the time, when you look back on severed relationships, you say to yourself that it wasn't worth it. Especially when you look at the things uh, that you were squabbling over to begin with. Most of the times is nothing at all. It was so minute. When you look back in retrospect, you say to yourself, it wasn't worth it. Why did I burn that bridge? Why did I destroy it? Because when you look at times like this, it is definitely, it goes without saying that you don't know who you're going to need. The way I like to live, the way I've tried to be with everyone that I encounter, is I've tried to be fair. I've tried to be the best that I could be. You know, the Bible says, follow peace with all men and holiness, which without no man shall see Yah. I try to deal fairly with everyone. And when I look at how this world is shaping up, so many destroyed relationships. But this is definitely not the time for that. This is definitely not the time because like I said, folk are going to need each other in more ways than one. You're not going to just need someone to uh, give you a little bit of food if you just so happen to be hungry. You're not going to just need someone who uh, could give you a couple of dollars if you need it. Folk are going to need a place to lay their head. They're going to need protection, food, comfort. There are all kinds of needs that are piling up right now. As we look around and we see how bad the economy is. The country seems to be on the brink of civil war. Not just the country, even between genders. Men and women seem to be on the verge of civil war. More specifically, I'm going to say black men and black women seem to be on the verge of civil war. Or should I say fully engaged in it? I can't say on the verge as it relates to that children and their parents, families. At a time that people need each other the most, folk are still burning down bridges. There's more than one way to burn down a bridge to family. When you sever trust in any relationship, that is almost the equivalent of burning a bridge in today's time because People are too afraid to open up and let others in because of what happens with a burnt bridge. But when we look at this economy, when we look at the heightened sense of insecurity, you don't know who's standing behind you in the grocery store. You don't know if somebody's about to flip their lid. Folk are going out of their mind. Violence is on the increase homelessness on the increase, joblessness on the increase, mental instability on the increase. The Bible says about this that these are just the beginning of sorrows. Think about that for a moment. When you see things are rough, and you hear that there's a prophecy that says this is just the beginning of sorrows. 
it didn't say we're near the end. When you see these things, you're near the end or um, you're in the middle. No, it says this is just the beginning of sorrows. People are getting sick, dying from this COVID and all other kinds of things are happening. But this is just the beginning of sorrows. The world on the brink of war, just the beginning of sorrow. Nations on the brink of civil war, just the beginning of sorrow. Families feuding and fighting with each other, just the beginning of sorrows. Famine, food running out, supplies drying up, just the beginning of sorrow. Money running out, dollar about to crash, just the beginning of sorrow. So much animosity in relationships, in the workplace. If you even have a workplace, businesses closing down, just the beginning of sorrows. Even the animals are getting sick. The scripture talks about how the earth is groaning because of the woes that mankind has brought to the earth. When you look at all of these things and you add up the cost, you have to ask yourself, was it worth burning that bridge? Now, I don't want to just leave it right there on the burning of bridges because many have done that. It's very easy to provide the correct environment to nurture a fire and watch it do its damage. That part is easy. Once you get the fire going, it's like, okay, it takes on a life all its own. And from there, the destruction happens. But to repair the damage of what a fire has done, Sometimes it could be literally impossible. Some, some fires are irreparable, the damage, should I say. Some cannot be repaired, but some can. If you find yourself in a situation where you have burned a bridge, if you are willing to put forth that effort to repair that bridge, to rebuild that bridge. Because for some, it actually takes a rebuilding. And I wanna make this very clear. If you are a person who has burned a bridge or even blew that sucker up, don't try to leave the burden on the person that you victimized to be soft-hearted. Part of the repairing of that breach or rebuilding of that bridge is to understand, understand the damage that you have done. It's unfortunate when a person does damage and causes that type of breach in a relationship that they are the ones when they feel like, okay, I wanna repair this now, they're the ones who get uptight and upset if the person that they're trying to repair the breach with is not ready to open that door. Sometimes it requires a little bit of patience to say, okay, what I did was horrible. What I did was horrendous. But I badly want this. I really deeply want this. I want to repair that breach. I want to rebuild that bridge that I burned down. Part of true repentance is to understand that the burden lies on you, not on your victim. And they, they just might come around if they see that you are real, if you are sincere, they just may come around. I almost missed a thought that I wanted to state, a point that I wanted to make. And that was this, you cannot expect for people to believe that mere words, an apology, or saying I'm sorry is equivalent to repentance. It is not. 
opening your mouth and saying that you're sorry or asking for forgiveness is not the equivalent of repentance. You see, in this world, and I'm not trying to racialize this particular commentary because this is for everyone, but in this world, what we have noticed is that some very heinous things have been done to so-called black people throughout history. And those, or should I say, the descendants of those who have done these things, and some of them continue to do these things, they believe that simply saying I'm sorry or apologizing is enough to erase the damage done. It is not. And if you understand that, then you would understand that if you burn a bridge, regardless to who you are, what your color is, how old or young you are, if you are the one who burned a bridge, you should understand that simply saying I'm sorry or forgive me is not enough. You might have to work a lot harder at repairing or rebuilding that lost relationship than you did with burning it down. If that is the price you must pay, ask yourself, is it worth it? Especially with the times that we are living in. If you can really go in with a true and sincere heart, you can best believe a person that has a good heart themselves, they will see how deep your sincerity goes and they just might open that door, but you must give them time. Because if you grow impatient because they are not ready to fling the door open, then that shows you haven't repented at all and that you're still very selfish. Just as selfish as you were when you first burned the bridge. So what am I trying to say here? I'm trying to say the things are looking so tripped out in the world right now that we better start repairing the breaches that we have created. Rebuilding the bridges that we've burned because you don't know who you're going to need. Swallow your pride, get off your high horse and make things right. I'm done with this video. I want to know your comments in the comment section below. Share your thoughts, even if you've burned a bridge with someone. Are you willing to take that step to repair or rebuild? Some of you only need to repair a bridge. Some of you need to rebuild it from the ground up. Are you willing to do that? Not just to free your mind, but to repair that relationship because we don't know who we're going to need in this hour. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, share and like this video. This is a very important message and I think we all need to consider these things. With that, I am out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like and subscribe.